we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section complex analysis that appeared in the CSIR national eligibility test held on 16th September 2022 and uh, the question is based on the the basic concepts of complex analysis the given question is if mod of e power e power z is equal to 1 for a complex number z is equal to x plus i y where x y x comma y belongs to or the set of real numbers then which of the following is true we are given four options option 1 x is equal to n pi for some integer n option 2 y is equal to 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2 for some integer n option 3 y is equal to n pi for some integer n option 4 x is equal to 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2 for some integer n we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have e power z z is equal to e power x plus i y where z is x plus i y and that is e power x multiplied by e to the power of i y and that is equal to e power x into e to the power of i y is in brackets cos y plus i sin y we are given modulus of e power e power z is equal to 1 for a complex number for a complex number z is equal to x plus i y x y belongs to the set of real numbers this implies z is equal to x plus i y where x y belongs to r is a solution of this equation mod of e power e power z is equal to 1 now mod of e power e power z is equal to 1 for a complex number z is equal to x plus i y where x y belongs to r implies mod of e power for e power z we write e power x multiplied by cos y plus i sin y that is equal to mod closed is equal to 1 for x y belongs to r here the meaning of for x y belongs to r is the following that is for such pair of real numbers x comma y belongs to r such that z is equal to x plus i y is a solution of mod of e power e power z is equal to 1 so whenever we say for x y belongs to r we mean these x y are such ordered such such pair of real numbers x y belongs to r such that z is equal to x plus i y is a solution of that equation so that's the meaning of for x y belongs to r we write so this implies this implies mod of e power e power x multiplied by cos y into e power i times i multiplied by e power x sin y we have separated is equal to 1 and this is uh, the mod of the product is equal to product of their moduli so that will be equal to mod of e power e power x cos y this part multiplied by e power i multiplied by e power x sin y in the in the power is equal to mod is closed is equal to 1 and we know e to the power of i theta mod of e to the power of i theta is under the square root of cos square theta plus sin square theta that is equal to 1 
So this will be equal to mod of e power e power x cos y we have written and this one mod of e to the power of i multiplied by e to the power of x sin y mod of that is equal to 1 because uh, mod of e to the power of i alpha is 1 when alpha belongs to r. Agreed. Agreed. So now the modulus we have taken out. Why? Because it is positive. So e power e power x cos y is positive for x y belongs to r. That is why we have taken out the modulus and we have written simply e power e power x cos y is equal to 1. This means e power x cos y the power must be equal to 0 for x y belongs to r. That means uh, such such pair of real numbers x y such that z is equal to x plus i y is a solution for such x y belongs to r. And we know e power x will never vanish for any value of x. So that will imply cos y is equal to 0 for y belongs to r. For that y belongs to r. Now cos y belongs, cos y is equal to 0 for y belongs to r means there exists an integer, there exists an integer n such that y is equal to 2 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2 for some integer n. For some integer n. Why? Because this is that y which is coming from the above. So, so that is cos y is equal to 0 means there exists an integer n such that y is equal to 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2. That means y is equal to 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2 for some integer n. There exists will become for some integer n. Agreed? So that is uh, the answer for this. So let us look at our uh, options. So the, our, our answer y is equal to 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2 for some integer n appears against option 2. Therefore the answer for this question is option 2. And that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem from the section complex analysis, which is a very, very basic, uh, basic concepts of complex analysis are used in this one. And uh, in my opinion that uh, this problem is a very, very easy problem. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you.